It's now in 110 countries with over 122,000 confirmed cases, and it looks like it's only getting worse. The World Health Organization today officially designating coronavirus as a global pandemic. Congress's in-house doctor told Capitol Hill staffers at a closed-door meeting this week that, that he expects 75 to 150 million people in the United States to contract the coronavirus. New tests led by the U.S. government scientists show the virus can live in the air for several hours and on some surfaces for up to three days. It's a lot of information, so let's try and break it all down. First, the World, World Health Organization has officially just declared coronavirus a global pandemic. Now, the second piece of information is a little more disconcerting. Congress's in-house doctor says up to 150 million people in the United States could end up getting corona. Yeah, that is half the country. And the third point mo uh, might be the most scary. Uh, we're learning that this coronavirus can stay on some surfaces for up to three days. Now, on some surfaces like cardboard, apparently corona can only survive for a day if it's cardboard. But then on harder surfaces like glass, it can survive for much longer. So like your cell phone, that could be a problem. Okay, so listen. I'm Tanya TKO, self-love specialist on tanyatko.com. I hope you learn how to love yourselves and one another on this channel. We use viral video topics as teachable moments for self-love, dating, and relationships in our own lives. But I decided to come out today and make a video different than the videos that I typically make because one faction of self-love and loving other people is keeping yourself safe and also educating yourselves. I don't know how much information you all have about the coronavirus out there, COVID-19. Um, but I wanted to let you all know that this is something that is staying in the air for several hours, even after the infected person has left the area and on surfaces for several days, including paper. And then reflective surfaces like plastic and glass for much longer. So it, I urge everyone out there to be cautious, to take precautions, to do what it is that you need to do to keep yourself safe. Now it's not only good enough to just wash your hands. Now we have to stay out of the areas of infected people. We don't know what it is that we're dealing with and we have been done a tremendous disservice by everyone in our government who announced that this is something that is like the flu and has less death rate, etc., etc. This is more like pneumonia. Your lungs fill up with liquid. As of March 3rd, in the United States, fewer than 500 people have been tested. And that is in comparison to 13,911 in the United Kingdom, 1,126 in the Ontario province of Canada alone. And in other other countries, people have a way to get tested. Has there anybody out there in the U.S. been able to find a place that they can get tested? If you have, please write it below. There were some issues that were going on with the test in the United States where they were faulty and had to be recalled. So we're in a situation right now where our government is not giving us updated information, correct information, and is playing politics when it comes to our health. This is why it's so important to vote. All of the people who stayed home and did not exercise their right to vote, and now we have a person in the White House that is affecting all aspects of our lives, even down to the containment of this coronavirus. Trump put Pence in charge of communication. He slashed funding to the CDC. We'll talk more about that in, in another video because I want to come back out in detail for you how this went terribly wrong but this is just a short video to put out there to just let you all know that we don't know what it is that we're dealing with so please keep yourself safe keep your family safe listen to the news read watch vloggers stay up to date because something is a brew and we don't know what it is now when they say that half of americans will contract corona from what it is that I'm hearing, if your immune system is already compromised, you're at greater risk of, of critical health complications. However, what they are saying is that the typical person will recover from it. But we don't know what's going on. I'm putting out this video to let you know 
the most up-to-date information that I have. If you have some more up-to-date information, which is correct and verifiable, please post your links below. Share this video with as many people as you can and really ingest and, and think about what it is that's happening right now. Leave your comments below. I want to hear your feedback. What are your thoughts on all of this? Me personally, I am in New York City. I did not know that this is something that stays in the air. I have been on the subway. I have been on the subway and have seen people holding the pole, put then start biting their fingers and even lick their finger to change the paper, the, the flip the newspaper. I have seen this even in today. I've seen people hugging, shaking hands, talking real close up in people's faces. Listen. I'll see you all in the next video. Leave your comments below. I want to hear your thoughts about this. And do you think this is it? Is this what we've been seeing about in the in the apocalypse movies? Is this the great depopulation that we've been hearing about for years? What are your thoughts on this? What are you going to do? What have you done to keep yourself safe? I travel around with hand sanitizer. I'm seeing people in Asia wearing plastic containers on their heads. You know, the five gallon thing, just cut out a hole and put that on their heads. People thought that that was dramatic, but is this where we're at now? Is this survival of the fittest now? People fighting over toilet paper. I want, I want to hear your thoughts. Leave your comments below. Tiny TKO and I'm out. Go out there and love one another, but most importantly, love yourself. And part of loving yourself is staying up to date on information and keeping yourself safe because the people out there who are still shaking hands and hugging, you're not only putting yourself at risk, but you're putting anybody else who comes into contact with you at risk. I hear people who are talking about how, thank goodness, they got out of Italy before the lockdown. And I'm like, you've decided to travel from an area that was infected and happy that you got out before the lockdown. Look, we all need to cooperate. Put your ego and your arrogance aside and let's stay safe out here. Peace. Thank you for watching. Make sure you thumbs up the video. Make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell notifications to be notified of new videos. Leave a comment below and come over to tanyatko.com to subscribe to my personal mailing list, send me a message, or find out more about matchmaking. I'll see you on the other side. Peace. It's now in 110 countries with over 122,000 confirmed cases, and it looks like it's only getting worse. The World Health Organization today officially designating coronavirus as a global pandemic. Congress's in-house doctor told Capitol Hill staffers at a closed-door meeting this week that, that he expects 75 to 150 million people in the United States to contract the coronavirus. New tests led by the U.S. government scientists show the virus can live in the air for several hours and on some surfaces for up to three days. It's a lot of information, so let's try and break it all down. First, the World, World Health Organization has officially just declared coronavirus a global pandemic. Now, the second piece of information is a little more disconcerting. Congress's in-house doctor says up to 150 million people in the United States could end up getting corona. Yeah, that is half the country. And the third point mo uh, might be the most scary. Uh, we're learning that this coronavirus can stay on some surfaces for up to three days. Now, on some surfaces like cardboard, apparently corona can only survive for a day if it's cardboard. But then on harder surfaces like glass, it can survive for much longer. So like your cell phone, that could be a problem. Okay, so listen. I'm Tanya TKO, self-love specialist from tanyatko.com. I hope you learn how to love yourselves and one another on this channel. We use viral video topics as teachable moments for self-love, dating, and relationships in our own lives. But I decided to come out today and make a video different than the videos that I typically make because one faction of self-love and loving other people is keeping yourself safe and also educating yourselves. I don't know how much information you all have about the coronavirus out there, COVID-19. Um, but I wanted to let you all know that this is something that is staying in the air for several hours, even after the infected person has left the area and on surfaces for several days, including paper. And then reflective surfaces like plastic and glass for much longer. So 
I urge everyone out there to be cautious, to take precautions, to do what it is that you need to do to keep yourself safe. Now it's not only good enough to just wash your hands. Now we have to stay out of the areas of infected people. We don't know what it is that we're dealing with and we have been done a tremendous disservice by everyone in our government.